Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Bradley. Okay, so in this part of the world, it is Father's Day tomorrow. So that real lovely, wonderful, wonderful, heartwarming, special time to really show thanks to those incredible figures in our life, our parents. So Mother's Day and Father's Day to me always mean the world, and they should do to everybody. Now, I often hear that sometimes it's a bit gimmicky, or why do you have to just wait for one day of the year? So I actually try to be really, really good, try to be really, really appreciative, and try to be on top form all the time, and very, very thankful and appreciative of my parents every single day of my life. However, when it comes to Christmas or birthdays or the wedding anniversary, I try to do something extra special, or I try to do something momentous or I try to do something what's really going to stand out. So I've been trying to work on that. So hopefully everything goes to plan and hopefully everything is going to be really, really nice. And going forward into the future, um, there's some family plans and things. So it's important, isn't it? After all the years we've had with COVID and all those disruptive sort of things, which have really changed all of our lives, it's really, really important that we look to the future in a bright and kind of that positive kind of outlook. It's so easy, isn't it? To always find the negative in something, but it's not that easy in a way to always find the positive but it's important that we do so with my parents i'm already thinking of plans and sort of holiday plans and things to do something special next year but for this day being father's day tomorrow i try to always side of do something a little bit different a little bit unique so the, recently my father's just bought a boat so i'm trying to buy some i'm trying i've bought some things in that which should hopefully be really really nice for my dad and um and yeah just doing something special tomorrow so looking forward to it should be a really really lovely time my dad is incredibly incredibly special and incredibly important to me my parents i have been gifted in this life they certainly are a blessing to my life um my mum absolutely a best friend to me my dad absolutely a best friend to me Dad's very, very different, very regimental, very, very strict and stern, but he does have his funny side, and he certainly does have the dad jokes, which, do you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't be without them, to be quite honest with you. My dad is somebody who, whenever I feel uncertain or if I feel unsure of things in life or I'm a bit weary or what do I do next type thing, I speak to my mum and dad. My my mum always gives me the logical and the sense and the love and the care, whereas my dad gives it to me sort of like, this is how it's got to be. This is where you need to kind of be. And he gives me that kind of assurance, that kind of security. And then again, that kind of wave that actually, if it doesn't work out, it's still always going to be okay. So my mum and dad together as harmony, but there's just no way of kind of putting it into words just how special they are and how much of a blessing they are to my life. So Father's Day and Mother's Day to me are huge sort of days where you just take one moment out of life and it's all about them. So hopefully tomorrow is going to be really, really special and hopefully it's going to be really, really nice. I really do Fingers crossed, it all goes it all goes really, really nice. And by that, I mean, hopefully we get really nice weather. Hopefully nothing happens. I have quite a big family, um, so there's always something goes on one of these days. And um, yeah, it can go south quite quickly with my type of family. But you know what? Everything in this life happens for a reason, doesn't it? And you know what? I've been through some really, really tough times recently in the last couple of years with different operations and things. And my mum and dad have been absolutely incredible. They really have. And, they, and they've got me through. They have. A year ago, I lost my nan, which was incredibly, incredibly difficult. And I remember on the day of my nan's funeral, I was giving my nan's eulogy. And I was so nervous and so worked up. And of course, heartbroken at the same time. And I went out. I was, we were all done up and we were waiting. Uh, we were waiting to go um, to join... Um, the procession, uh, my nan uh, done her last journey from where her home was to my uncle's and then she was coming out here to my mum's and then we were going on to the crematorium and um, I was really, really nervous and uh, really upset and do you know what, my dad in that moment just gave me the talk, I went outside in that talk of of that, that calmness, that clarity, that strength, that love, that just everything, just everything which you would want from your parents in that in seconds. So my dad is very, very special to me. He really, really is a best friend of mine. Now, he won't never, ever sort of, he's someone who doesn't show emotion. So um, to to me, I almost like play on that, that almost I go over the top, like really like cheesiness, like the whole sort of well over the top type thing. So to make him feel uncomfortable, <laughs> almost, I know it's rotten really, isn't it? But do you know what? We only have one life and every single day is a blessing to us all. And the horrific things we've had recently in the recent times through COVID and the horrific things which happen every single day of our lives, I truly do believe that 
every single one of us isn't promised, as I always say, and a lot of my subscribers will know that, that every single one of us is not promised, we're not promised a tomorrow, no one's promised a tomorrow, but if we are, it's a blessing, let's grab it with both hands and run with it, so I think if you ever want to tell somebody something, or if you want to tell your parents, your dad something, particularly because it's Father's Day tomorrow, tell them, never ever put it off, because you never ever know what's going to happen in this life, you really, really don't, and at the end of the day, the last thing you want when you're going through something awful in this life is to think that I wish I'd done this or I wish I'd done that. So I really try to treat my parents with the utmost of respect, integrity, love, and all of those wonderful things every single day. I hope I am. I'm not perfect by any means of imagination, but I try to treat them when I can. If I've got a little bit more money, I like to try and do something special for them. Uh, the recent holidays just gone, which I've been on, I try to I, I try to do something really, really nice for them and, and help with one thing or another and, and just make life generally lovely, to be quite honest with you. That's a British word, isn't it, which we use here, lovely. Um, but yeah, my, my dad truly means the world to me and so does my mum. So if you're watching this, mum and dad, I love you. And from the bottom of my heart, you mean the world to me. I love you both so much. And if I didn't have you, I don't know where on earth I would be. Father's Day and, of course, those really lovely momentous days really should be celebrated. Now, I know a lot of people in situations can't celebrate that because, for example, one one thing or another through COVID, perhaps it's really difficult, really heartbreaking because they've lost their father or perhaps they have never known the father or perhaps that they have two fathers or perhaps that you have somebody who has been like a father to you. Anybody who stands in that sort of position or that figure in your life celebrate them. At the end of the day, if somebody has stood out in your life and they are your dad, make it special. And you know what? It doesn't have to be expensive at all. From the smallest to the most lavish expensive thing in the world, to be quite honest with you, sometimes less means more and sometimes less is far more rememberable than actually showering that person with lavish, lavish gifts, but to be honest with you, doesn't mean anything to them. Sometimes the most wonderful, important thing can be a memory or it can be a picture. And you know what? I've got so many fantastic memories. Growing up, I was certainly blessed with my upbringing. I really, really was with all many, many wonderful holidays and the experiences which my mum and dad have given me, even down to my teeth. Do you know what? I get so many wonderful comments I do on my channel about my teeth. Um, I know you think that what a vain, vain person, but I'm not vain. I'm not even confident to be quite honest with you at all, but I never had my teeth straightened when I should have done it in school. I know, absolutely typical when it was here in the UK, um, done through the NHS, but actually, um, I was away actually at the time for my birthday and when I came back I thought oh, I really really don't like this and my parents knew that it was almost causing me a little bit of confidence because I had an eye tooth here which was really quite protruding and it was really quite I just didn't like it your smile is everything as I always say and my my mum had wonderful teeth and everybody in the family pretty much has great teeth and I thought to myself oh, I really don't like this and mum and dad knew that um that it was really bothering me and in the end I was blessed with them actually sorting it all out for me and I have amazing amazing treatment and it was expensive bless them so I'm always sort of in their debt for everything which they provided for me in my life but you know it's been such a blessing growing up in the family and the love which I have and the parents I have um so yeah this life really and the Lord truly does bless me with everything so it's been really really great so um even the smile <laughs> from the parents. So I always, I always take the l a little bit of corniness and I always sort of make that trick. I do a, a, a big cheesy grin and, um, and, and yeah, it's, um, it's great. So yeah, absolutely. Dad, wow. What a wonderful, wonderful person. My dad was in the Navy. So, um, yeah, he, he worked really, really hard there and he's got some incredible, incredible stories. So I'm incredibly proud of my dad and he really, really means the world to me. Um, and as parents should do, of course, you hear so many dreadful, sad stories, don't you, on the news and you haven't really got to go too far out your own front door to hear some really nasty stories and some people haven't had that blessing. I think it's really, really important that if you have or if you perhaps are someone that doesn't necessarily make the time or you have such a busy life for your parents, perhaps just take the time, perhaps make time and, and really just go out of your way because you know what we only have one life and it is a true blessing and at the end of the day you only get one set of parents and one chance to make them know what they mean to you so never ever put that off okay so on the end of that i suppose i should move into my brothers really shouldn't i so i've got three three amazing brothers which i, I love and i would move heaven and earth for them if i could if i ever if i ever um then it needed any help I don't actually have children yet. I haven't enjoyed that blessing and I hope I do and I hope I meet a wonderful, wonderful wife and I hope I have many, many children. I've always had five in the back of my head, actually. I know, strange, but always love the, love the house and the beautiful wife and many, many children and then hopefully as time goes on, 
grandchildren and all that. I think it would be lovely. And I grew up because my nan had all of that. And she had a huge family. By the end of it, my nan was a great, great, great grandmother. And recently lost my nan over a year ago. And um, still very difficult every day. My nan had a huge, huge family. So altogether with great grandchildren, great, great, great grandchildren, she had about 55, I think, maybe even more than that. Bear in mind she had seven children, so she certainly had a big family, and um, I lost my nan at the age of 95. So for me, still far, far, far too soon, but I am blessed and I cherish the time I had, and I feel very, very privileged and grateful. So I hope my parents, and I absolutely know they will, will get to that sort of that sort of benchmark in life, and they've already got grandchildren and things now, so it's a really, really wonderful, blessed family I have. And life is great, it really, really is. I've recently taken a break, which was done that power of good for me, because having health problems and things in the background as well. But I have five nieces and nephews, and all three of my brothers are fathers. So Father's Day is a mixture at the moment, it really, really is, because sadly two of my nieces and nephews I don't see through one thing or another through my brother's relationship, but um, my other two, I see my nieces and nephews all the time. But you know what? I have five and I love them all the same, and I would move heaven enough for them. I'm a godfather, so um, that means the world to me, and as I say, I give my life for every single one of my five uh, nieces and nephews. I've got three nieces and two nephews, and I love them all dearly. Um, and the two I don't see, they're always in my prayers um, every single day. And um, there are two sets of twins, and my little niece, who was born very, very premature, so she certainly is a gift to this life, always. Um, but I see them, and it's almost like sometimes when I see them, that they're, they're mine. Um, but sadly, they're not, and uh, yeah, that is quite sad sometimes. But do you know what? They're a blessing, and as I say, I would give my life for them, and um, I love them lots and lots. So Father's Day tomorrow for them. I hope my brothers have a really, really wonderful time, and um, I hope they have a really, really lovely, magical day as well, their loving memories of their children. And for me, hopefully one day, Father's Day will be special for me, and I have lots of children all running around with me as well. I was going to say after me then. I don't want someone to run after me. I want them to run with me and have all those wonderful, magic memories. So coming to the end of this, I'm going to try and keep this a little bit shorter now, because I know I'm probably going on. I really, really hope that you take the time to enjoy this this really, really special weekend, and I hope that you get the time to celebrate Father's Day tomorrow. Here in the UK, it's Father's Day anyway, but you know, you don't have to wait for Father's Day. Do something special to your parents any day of the week, any day of the year. Why not raise a glass? Why not do something special? It doesn't have to be expensive. Do something spontaneous. Spur of the moment. Just throw it on them. Do something for your parents. Do something for your dad. Okay, and of course, bearing in mind, grandfathers, uncles, and those people who may be like a father or like a grandfather to you, celebrate them all, love them, cherish them. I've been really, really blessed in this life. I certainly hope you have too. Okay, so thank you very much for joining this with me, and I wish you and I wish my own dad who's watching this a very, very special, special, and a very, very happy Father's Day. And to you, I'll be seeing you real soon. Thank you very much for joining me, and until next time, take great care. Bye for now.